Hey guys, we're going to be using fireworks to create a favicon. We'll turn the favicon into an ICO file that we can export to Dreamweaver and put into our code. Now the best thing to do when creating a favicon for Dreamweaver or your hosted website is to start off with a much larger image and then reduce the image down in size. The maximum size allowed for a favicon is 16 by 16 pixels and that's quite small. So I've created a canvas which is 150 pixels in width and 150 pixels in height, resolution of 72. Now we're going to start off with a larger canvas and we're going to reduce it down in size to a smaller canvas. So, I'm going to use the ellipse tool to make a circle. Um, I'm going to press shift and I'm going to click and drag to the edges of the canvas until I've got my circle roughly the size I want it to be. To make any adjustments you can go to the pointer tool and just pull it exactly where you want it to be. And uh, now let's have a look in the properties inspector. We'll change the colour of the fill and I'm going to make it a sort of greeny dreamweavery colour that will do just fine um, now I'm going to modify the canvas and I am going to trim it so go to modify canvas and then trim canvas to trim all the edges around right I think it's time to put some text in so we'll have a look in the vector tool set there's a little T there click on that and we'll click inside the canvas and put some text in because the finished product is only going to be 16 by 16 you don't want to put too much detail into your favicon so I'm just going to put DW and you'll start to understand why you don't need to put too much detail in when we reduce it down in size because it is so small that anything other than a little bit of minor detail won't be picked up okay so using the pointer tool I'm going to click on the ellipse, the circle we created and we'll apply a filter to the background of that and I'm going to go to shadow and glow and select glow so I'm going to adjust the colour because red obviously is a little bit too contrasting and I've changed it to a light grey alright so we've applied a little bit of detail to the ellipse um, but what we'll do next is we'll apply a bit more detail to the text so we'll go back down into the properties inspector after selecting the text and we'll apply a few filters to that so click on the plus icon shadow and glow drop shadow and I'll adjust the color to a very dark gray okay that's been applied now and I'll give the text an inner bevel as well so we'll go to bevel and emboss and select inner bevel okay that really makes the text stand out but when we reduce it to 16 by 16 pixels you won't really pick it up that well okay I'm not completely happy with the background so I'm gonna adjust it I wanna kind of make it look like a casino chip so I'm gonna go to bevel and emboss and I'm gonna go to inner bevel you can also adjust the bevel uh, at the moment it's set to flat but you can go to smooth uh, you've got frame 1 and frame 2 and I think I'm gonna go for ring because I think that's going to most resemble a casino chip okay now where I've reduced the canvas size it's missing some of the bevel and the drop shadow so I'm going to modify the canvas and go to canvas canvas size and I'm going to anchor it to the top left so it will flow out and down from the top of the page and I'm going to adjust it to 170 pixels width and 170 pixels height and I'm going to click OK okay so what we need to do now is group the whole image so I'm gonna use a pointer tool and click and drag a square over the canvas and then we're gonna go up to group and click on that and the reason we just did that is because when we go to reduce the image in size it will all reduce in size together now I'm gonna make the canvas transparent so you can see what we're doing okay now the tool we need is located here if you click and hold and select the scale tool 
to use the scale tool you need to make sure the image is selected first with the pointer tool now I'll click and drag on one of the edges and drag it down to it's really small now it's not quite at 16 by 16 at the moment it's at 21 and 21 so I'm going to change it manually from the properties inspector width 16 height of 16 and press enter okay let's have a look at what we've created it's very small as you can see there's hardly any detail there at all I'm probably not going to use that for my website but that's an example of how you can make Fabicon we'll go to modify canvas and trim the canvas down okay so we can export this now or save it to our desktop I'm going to go to file export and I'm going to save it as a JPEG image but we're going to use a program to turn it into an ICO file so it doesn't matter whether you save it as a PNG or a JPEG okay so I'll see you in part two where we'll be creating an ICO file